On this episode of Handmade Holidays, I'm going to show you how to make this cool garland from Fabric Yo-Yos. It's attached to my tree right now, and I'm not going to unwrap it because it took forever to put up. So, let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from ElizabethMadeThis.com. Today I am sharing with you day seven of our Handmade Holidays series that I'm doing here. So this series is all about giving you some quick and easy, simple gift ideas that you could do and just for stuff around your house, uh, for other people in your life, just quick and easy, simple sewing projects that you can do during this holiday season. So today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely yo-yo garland. So my particular garland, is really big. <laughs> There's 393 yo-yos in this and they are big. It's, it is 50 feet, 56 feet long. Now I didn't start out intending to make a garland this long, but I did want to make one that was big enough to go around my tree. But even if you just want to make a few yo-yos that, you know, it's long enough to, you know, maybe cover your, your mantle or something like that, or you could make one to make a scarf. It doesn't have to be this long, but I'm kind of a yo-yo nut. <laughs> I've made I've made thousands and thousands of these things and I love making them. They're such an easy, quick project to take anywhere you happen to be on the plane, in the car, I've taken to the movie theater. I love yo-yos. I love them, I love them, I love them. Um, so all you need are just some coordinating fabrics and some some time and just the the time to do some some quick hand sewing and i will show you how i constructed my garland next okay let me show you how to sew a yo-yo so you need a couple things when you go to sew yo-yos first of all you just need a bunch of circles of, of fabric and you can either use a can or a glass or something that you trace around and then use scissors to cut out, or you can have you can use a tool like this. This is made by Olfa. It's a rotary cutter, but it makes circles, so it kind of works like a compass. So it's got a blade guard here, and you just pull it down to expose the blade. And then it's got a, an end like you would use for a compass. And then you just stick it down in your fabric. And this is great because you can do multiple layers of fabric. Um, if you, if you use a, a can, it's a lot harder to, if you're tracing, it's, it's a lot harder to do that. And sometimes you have to come back in here with scissors to, to cut around it. But anyway, you can, you can see I've got, I've got a circle there. Um, a lot of times when you do, go ahead and use different kinds of fabric for yo-yos. Patterns like this will totally, totally change. Uh, so you won't, you may not be able to see the 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 chevron like on on the right side of the yo-yo it might it's, it's it's gonna gather into something like really cool and unique so that's one of the things that's really fun about about yo-yos is that sometimes the pattern fabric um just end up being something totally different but you can see even even though my blade is not really sharp it does it does do a lot of really quick work going around and um cutting circles. So that's your first step. And then the next thing you need is some hand quilting thread. And I like using the hand quilting thread. This is just, this is just white. Um, it's a little bit thicker. This is just, this is just standard thread. You can see it's just totally, it's, it's thinner. And when this stuff comes off the roll, it kind of, it's got a lot more body and it's, it kind of curls on itself. But it's it's a lot stronger, and there's the there's a lot of stress on the gather part of yo-yo, so it, so the hand quilting thread just works a lot better. So I'm gonna bring the ends of my thread together. They've been I've threaded in my needle, so I'm instead of just having one strand on the needle, I'm gonna have two. I'm gonna bring the ends together. I'm gonna make a quick knot. This is my favorite way to do a knot for hand sewing. So I'm gonna pinch, pinch the end in one hand and I'm gonna bring the underside under my needle, wrap around once, twice, three, four times, and then I'm gonna pinch that, the wrapping with my one hand and then slide it down the end of the needle and then keep sliding it all the way down to the end of the thread. And boom, I've got a knot. And I like to I like to just trim it. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my fabric circle and I'm, I'm, on, I'm working from the wrong side and I'm gonna fold over a little edge of the right side of the fabric and I'm gonna go from the working working inside to the outside. So I'm gonna push it to the outside of outside right side of the fabric and then back to the inside of the yo-yo. Outside, back to the inside and then I'm just gonna keep going all the way around the yo-yo going back and forth with my needle. And then if it builds up too much on my needle, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it through. And you can see what this is doing is creating those gathers on the, on the yo-yo. I'm gonna keep going all the way around. And I'll show you what we do when we get to the end, which will be in just a couple seconds here. These are so easy to go and take other places. Okay, so I got to the end. That's where my knot, that's where I started. I always, I always try and end my last stitch going outwards. So I'm going to the right side of the fabric. Okay, and now I'm gonna make my needle, my, my, my uh, knot. Okay, so just kind of work things around and redistribute the gathers. And now we're just gonna pull everything tight. Kind of play with it a little bit till you like it. And now we need to add the knot. So again, bring bring the needle really close to the end of the fabric. Go one, two, three, four times around, and then push it through. Keep moving that knot all the way down to the end. And then I'm going to bring I'm going to bring the rest of my thread back through to the inside. And I'm gonna make a second knot because I am gonna keep on, I'm gonna show you how to join these with the other yo-yos. And you can make as many of these as you want or as few of them as you want. You can make a scarf out of them. You can make a whole quilt out of them, which I have done multiple times. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's, 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 a, it's a project, but I just, I just love yo-yos. I think they are, they just have such cool texture and when you, you do them out of different fabrics, they, they are just so neat. Okay, so I've got two yo-yos now and I'm gonna bring them right sides together just at one edge and it really doesn't matter which one because they're circles, ha! Huh? Okay, so I'm gonna stick my needle in one side and I've got my knot and I'm gonna go, go around the top once and then twice and then I'm gonna stick my needle in going away from myself and before I bring this all the way to the end I'm gonna stick my needle through this loop back towards myself so what this does is make like a little tiny my stitch is kind of sitting on top this is just a little blanket stitch and I'm gonna do the same thing over here Put my needle through that loop and then one more time over here except I missed my thread <laughs> okay and now and then I'm just gonna stick this one more time too because I like to have two full stitches on either side just for added strength um, the again they like when when you have these all lined up they there's there's a lot of stress here so if there's they're not really reinforced they will come apart okay and then i'm just going to bring my needle again really close to the fabric and go one two three four times around pinch the wrappings and slide it on down to the end and then you cut out and then you just keep doing that as many times as you want to and then eventually you have you know, a nice garland that you can put on your tree. So you just repeat until you have a whole lot of yo-yos and you can make it as long or as short as you want to. And I didn't say, I didn't say when I was showing you how to make them, but I, I tend to like about a three inch diameter circle for my yo-yos. You can make them bigger than that or you can make them smaller than that. And they tend to work best out of natural fiber fabrics like cottons, and linen and like thin weight wools, just something that's that's thin and stable and uh, 
is, is not too thick and it's going to take the gathering in the center really well. You don't want to do it out of knit fabrics because the the gathers are going to distort too much when they when you when you chain them. But other than that, yeah, make yo-yos. They're happy. They make everything happy in your house. If this was a helpful video for you, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and catch more handmade holidays from Elizabeth Made This right here on my channel. Thanks for watching. Happy sewing.